Alright, this will be a really cool match. Warren's a very technical Foxman, or Flaming Ray, sorry. A very technical Foxman. Um, goes in a lot. Very, very rushdown oriented. Um, sometimes to his, Yeah, sometimes to his downfall. And then uh, K-Pan, uh, very, uh, very creative Falco. Uh, gets a lot of like, uh, does a lot of things that are just uh, like I, I don't normally see Falco's like do that thing in that sort of situation. Um, applies tech skill in very interesting ways, and uh, recently came back from living in SoCal. So, in my opinion, uh, leveled up a decent amount. Yeah, it's all good. I can hold down the fort. It was a nice shine stall wall jump side B. Warren went super deep for that edge here. That was crazy. That was so risky. All right, and we're back. All right, I'm back. So, uh, yeah, so the thing I noticed earlier about K-Pan is that not, I haven't noticed about a lot of other Falcos is that his adaptation is sickening. I, like, yeah. I was disgusted. There were, there were times where, like, okay, his first two stocks get wrecked, his last two stocks, you couldn't touch him. Yeah. People just could not touch him. So yeah. he adapts so hard. Kevin's a, a very cerebral player. Like, you know, he's really good at talking about the game and like really uh, really conscious when he plays. That was uh, that was a nice little bit of movement to avoid the invincibility by Warren, like the jump forward, wave land back, wave land on the edge. Ooh, that was People are getting so good at movement. It's so cool to see. Yeah, like right now, I'm not seeing Warren touch touch Kevin at all. <laughs> oh, okay, a little bit, little jabs. All right, we're back. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that punishment could have been a little bit better, but yeah. All right, could have gone a yeah. little farther. Double lasers aren't safe. That was a very, very interesting series of back airs and up tilts for Warren. All right, well, uh, at this point, Kevin just kind of has to be a little bit more patient. Yeah. Well, I actually, um, he's doing a lot of uh, just like sort of waiting for Warren to open himself up or like calling Warren out on his weights, like what happened on that top platform right there when like you know, uh, like a lot of times, like when people like stand still and that kind of thing, they're trying to react to an option, and you can like react to them reacting. It's kind of a weird melee concept. It's uh, it's not something I'm super good at currently, but uh, like timing your weights and adjustment to their weights, mm -hmm. and um, like, oh, kill him! <laughs> that was that was pretty sick. That that was that was sickening. And look, like just like that, they're all evened up. Uh, okay, that was a good downer. And let's see how far Kevin's this goes. going in. Oh, those are so good laters. All right. That was, uh, that was a really good way to basket's approach that wave on top platform. You got me too. I would have gotten aired right there. Look, it, and honestly, for a while, it, it looked like... Oh, oh, man. There was... Dude, that last game, that last sock... It looked crazy. Yeah, there was, a, there was a solid period of like 15 seconds where Warren couldn't do anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but then he got a back there shy. <laughs> and then, yes, as simple as shining the other person. <laughs> but the thing I noticed about, another thing I noticed about K-Pan is that that adaptation he gets in the first game, it carries over into the second game. So, unless your opponent's wow. constantly changing, ooh, Battlefield. So, Battlefield assisted, but the rest of that edge guard was really sick. Like, he did the, the back air to cover the high angle on the side beam before he touched the ground, he got a shine out. 
Oh wow, that was a really good double jump to avoid the lasers. It's really hard to thread the needle with that sometimes, but like you get so much mileage off of it. Because like the lasers are shot to say like Falco goes like I don't want you to recover right here, mm -hmm. but if you can juke them, you get you get to recover right there. So, all right, this is this should be pretty free. There yeah. You go. Okay. Good grab. Mm, messes up his up air. Yeah, this looks a lot different from the other game. Uh... Warren's managing to get in really well and make his hits, ugh, his hits count. Like, his punishes have been really crisp. It's kind of what you have to do uh, a lot of times in this matchup, because Falcos are getting so good at keeping Fox away. Um, and, like, just locking you down with lasers is, like, it used to be, like, you know, Falco really needed the big combos, but, like, Fox, like, didn't because he could just like win neutral often enough because he was able to get closer. Right, right. And um, like a lot of the platform transitions and stuff that you do to not deal with Falco's lasers, Falcos are getting really good at using their full hop, uh, like full hop there and that kind of thing, to like just call you out and like going to top platform or like transitioning to side platform. So like your punish him is from Fox's side uh, is getting a lot more important to to deal with like how optimized Falco is. It's also being pushed in general top levels of play, carrying down. Ooh, oh no! Wow. Well, he was—he was at was yeah. 140. You know, these things yeah, happen. Not—not not all misled dashes are equal. That was a good nair. He didn't have a double jump. Oh. All right. So, I mean, at this point, I don't know that X factor Kevin showed in the first. The, the last uh, oh. Staga first game. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so there's some Stole anti... the ledge right there. And some really janky stuff. Uh, edge guard, yep. Yeah. That's gonna do it. That's 2-0. Good, good job to K-Pan. That uh, last game was pretty scary. Lauren almost pulled the anti-clutch. Real yeah. strong. Let's get, let's get two...